Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can cast your laptop or your desktop PC onto your mobile cell phone. This particular one is Android and this one here is an Apple iOS. Now in order to be able to do this you need to download something called Microsoft Remote Desktop and then what it allows you to, to do is it allows you to use your mobile phone and it doesn't matter where you are in the world I can be sat in any country and I will be able to access my desktop or my laptop from my mobile phone I'll be able to ask, access all my files my videos make changes do whatever you want to do as if you were sat in front of the laptop itself but you will be doing it from your mobile phone now not all the features work but a lot of features do work now when you read up about Microsoft's remote desktop a lot of websites will tell you that it will only work on the more expensive editions of Windows. So on this laptop here, it's running Windows 10 Pro. But I have got it working on my other desktop, which is a Windows 10 Home edition. But you do have to download another thing from GitHub. Uh, and that, then that will enable the remote desktop to work. So as, as it comes out of the box, it will not work on home. So don't be disappointed if you check this out and you haven't got it, because I will do a future video on how you can download that extra thing that will allow it to work on a home edition as well. Now, to uh, get it onto your mobile phone, whether it's iOS or Android, it's really simple. You just need to go to the Play Store or the App Store and type in Microsoft Remote Desktop and you just download that one there. It doesn't take long to download at all. Now what you have to do is there's different steps you have to do and they are quite time consuming so I will do a separate video on it but basically you need to know what your computer is called, you need to know the IP address of the computer and you need to know your password as well. And then if you want to do remote access from outside of your network, so that's all you need to know if you're doing it in the same house. But if you want to access this from another, you know, when you're out and about or a different country or whatever, then you also need to know your IP address as well for the uh, for your router. And you will also need to enable port forwarding on your router as well to be able you to dial into it from outside and then onto the computer. But it's not hard to do, but it does take a bit of time. But just, just roughly, just to show you it working. So what you can do is, from this phone here, I can be connected to both my PC and my laptop at the same time. But only one device can access them. So for example, if it's going between the laptop and the Android mobile phone, if I was to sign into it then from the iOS device, it would knock me out of my Android. So it can only, you can only use it from one device at a time. So at the moment, we've got it working on the laptop. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast that screen over onto here now. And what it will do is when it happens, it will no longer be working on the laptop anymore. So you can't use them on both devices. It will only work on one thing. So let's go over to RD client. And now it's going to bring up the options that I've set up already. So I've got laptop one away, main PC and my laptop. Obviously, you're going to have to set these up yourself by going to the plus up here you go to desktop and then you can either scan to see what's available in the area or you can add manually if you were to add manually you need to enter in the name or the IP address so it's probably best to enter in the IP address and then you need to do your username so that's uh, your username of the actual PC and then you need to do your password as well and then you've got additional options down here where you can for example call it a friendly name so that's where I've called it you know my laptop or my laptop away from home or whatever I called it so uh, yeah that's that's how you do it there and on here you will need to get your IP address and your username like I said and password and you will also need to enable remote desktop so if you were to go down to Cortana down here and if you were to type into enable remote then if you have a look up here it will say allow remote access to your computer and there's a little checkbox here where it says don't allow remote connections to this computer or allow remote connections to this computer so you'll need to click on the allow remote connections now obviously I've already done this and I will do a video that will go into lots of detail on how to do this so let me just cancel that for the time being but uh, yeah at the moment so that's my screen up there so remember that screen and if I go to my laptop here 
then you can see it's going to cast over. Okay, and now it's cast over here, and my screen there has gone blank, so I can no longer use that screen there. If somebody was to come along and start working on here, it would disconnect me from here and go on to there. So you can only work in one place at the same at, at one time. And uh, you have different options. So at the moment, this is like touch, so you can use it like a touch screen, or you can go to mouse pointer here, and then you can see a little cursor move around the place, and then you can move that down to there, for example. And you can go to downloads. And let's say now, if you want to watch one of your videos, that's on your, that's on your, your system. So you can just uh, click on that and it will bring over the sound and the picture. Hi there, my name's Vince. From my Today I'm going to show you a nice little tip on how to level the doors on a cupboard. Now I've installed quite a lot of flat pack furniture throughout the years. Okay, let's and minimize that. I never actually knew how to level the doors. I knew how to adjust the hinges, but sometimes there's only... Okay, and for example, if you wanted to do a tablet mode, which might make it more easy, you can go down to the corner here, click on the corner, and then change it to tablet mode. Right, and now I'm going to go to up here and go to touch. Now if I minimise that, and now we're in tablet mode here. Yeah. You can move around the place. I'm going to show you the desktop working. So if I was to go to start new, and then uh, if I was to go to main PC, and now it will connect to my main PC in the other room. Here we go. And it's going to show you the uh, that this is actually working on Windows Home Edition. Let me get my mouse pointer back. And if I go up to settings, and if I go to system, and go down to about. There you go, so you will see it says Windows 10 Home Edition, yeah? But yeah, it is working. And for example, if you want to play your Steam games, you could do, but you're gonna be limited here because of uh, the controls, but what you can do is you can get an OTG cable, the little USB cables, and plug your mouse and keyboard into it, and then that will give you more options. So just while that's loading up, I'm just going to go to here. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect from the laptop on this one. So you see it says my laptop, I'm going to disconnect here, and just to show you it working on the iOS. Here we go, RD client down here. And then just click on my laptop and there you go yeah you see same principle again your mouse pointer or you can use it via a touch screen touch yeah check your mail this is, isn't set up for mail but you get the idea right let me disconnect from that end session and, right so on the tablet it will make more sense because it's bigger. Go to RD client, laptop. All right, I remember that was the mail, the mail thing that we opened. Okay, so you've got a bit more room to move around on the tablets. Yeah. So there you go. Right, let's just see if it's loaded up on this one here. Yeah, you get the idea. But if you were to plug in your uh, mouse and keyboard, obviously you'd have much more, much more control, because you wouldn't really be able to play it like this properly. Right, I just wanted to show you the remote working. So, for example, now if I was to take it off the Wi-Fi network, so I'm actually using the the cellular network, and that's the same as me being anywhere in the world. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to disconnect 
from the Wi-Fi. So now it's going to be using purely the UK Vodafone. At the moment, it's on 4G. So we've got no Wi-Fi. We're on the cellular network, RD client. And this time, I have to go to laptop when away. There you go. And again, you see, it's cast the screen over. Yeah, and that's using the actual mobile network. It's uh, This is exactly the same as me being absolutely anywhere, and you can still access what you want to access. Hi there, my name is Vince from Mr. Telephone, and today I'm going to show you how to make a V. There we go. Okay, hope you found that video useful. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Keep an eye out for my other video that I'm going to be releasing shortly, which is how to do Microsoft Remote Desktop. And that's where I will go into how to find your IP address, how to do the port forwarding on your router. It's going to be quite a long video, but I'll take you through step by step so you'll be able to do it yourself. Okay, take care. Bye now.